Does it seem to be worse when we get closer to the crack at the back of your knee? Completely, yes. Places that have a bend like that, like the ditch on your arm and the back of your knee are a lot more sensitive. You can't curse on a lure, can you? We can bleep it out. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kira. I'm 20 years old. I'm from the Bronx and I'm getting my first tattoo. I've been thinking about getting a tattoo for a little over a year now. The inspiration behind the tattoo that I'm getting for the first time started uh, in the summer of 2016. I went to New Zealand and Fiji to do some <laughs> environmental work out there. On this farm in Raglan, we were planting these like Belshmita terrieri trees. And I remember just like digging into the dirt and I don't know, I just felt so grounded and that's why I want to get this tree as my tattoo. I'm thinking of getting it behind like my left calf. Kind of like, you know, kind of lead with your foot. So maybe it's kind of like a grounding thing. <laughs> I found Rachel Finelli on Instagram. I saw representation all throughout her pictures. Um, on her Instagram, I saw people who look like me and designs that were related to mine that I wanted to get. You know, I was always afraid of the permanence of it, and but I just changed the narrative in my head, and I was like, you know what? Let, you only live once. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just have some art on your body for the rest of your life. All right, I guess I'm gonna get my tattoo for the first time tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is around like 7.56 or, or so. It's honestly time to go. Like, I'm from the Bronx. We about to go to Brooklyn. I'm very nervous. <laughs> Shout out if you sweat when you're nervous. So we're gonna go on a very interesting adventure. Hi! <laughs> How are you? Good, Good morning. Rachel. So nice to meet you. Oh my you. God, so nice to meet oh, you. I'm so glad you're here. So I know this is your first tattoo, so I thought we could kind of go over what tattooing is and what the steps are going to be in this process. The first thing we're going to do is talk about your design. After that, we're going to prep your skin, clean it, make sure everything's really sterile and ready to go. We're going to do a shave just to get rid of any hair. We're going to get the stencil on your skin. After that, we have our actual needle to skin time, the like tattooing, the part that might hurt. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the outlining and the detail work. Finally, we're gonna do a good final cleanse. After the tattoo's finished, we're going to put a bandage on you, make sure you can get out of here and keep living your life without worrying about exposing it to anything. And then I'm gonna give you a list of aftercare instructions before you leave. So I'm ready to move on to the first step where we figure out everything that you wanna see in your design. I got the reference photos that you sent me and I did mm -hmm. a quick mock-up of what I was thinking might look nice, but I really wanted to work with you today and figure out exactly what you want to see and how to incorporate that into the design. So I'm thinking maybe I can bring some of these rounder leaves towards the bottom and make it feel fuller. Like yeah. To get that, that look that you want. It could be less full towards the top for sure. Come like on. I might break up some of my lines with dot work. I might kind of just yeah. like leave a line out when the connection can be implied. You know, you're only working in black, so how can you get something that's like bold and black? to feel really delicate. I think the, the trick is to just leave certain elements out and let your natural skin shine through. So I know this is your first tattoo. Is there any reason that you decided to finally do it? The first time definitely wasn't the right time and I'm glad I didn't go through with it or feel like I was obligated to do it. She was just always comparing white people's skin to mine and saying that like, well, our skin takes this, but yours wouldn't, so let's change it up completely. And I just didn't feel comfortable with that. She just made me feel like I just wasn't meant to. I only work in black ink, so right. I'm not really sort of totally savvy to all the ins and outs of color work, but right. one thing I know a color worker can do for you mm -hmm. is do a swatch test. Yeah. They'll do a test with each different color ink, okay. and then you can come back a month later after it's healed and see how the color sets on your skin. Oh. So for this artist to tell you straight off the bat, like, no, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna happen, yeah. doesn't really make any sense to me because there are plenty of options. Wish I knew about color swatching. <laughs> is anything standing out to you? Something you'd wanna change? I really liked from your first illustration here, like mm -hmm. these dots coming on these little bulbs. I mean, Definitely. I, I, yeah. Okay, great. So now that we've finished the outline and you're into the size and the composition of this, I'm gonna put it in my thermal printer and that mm -hmm. basically makes what is a temporary tattoo that will go on your skin and help us determine the placement for you. Okay. I'm just gonna need you to roll up your yeah. pant leg. 
Even if you don't have a lot of hair, the shaving really helps us get a clean start. It takes off a first layer of dead skin and just mm -hmm. kind of preps the area so it's nice and smooth and ready to go. Okay, so now I'm just gonna clean the area with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Yeah. I'm gonna put this lotion down that helps the stencil stick and then uh -huh. I'll hover this and you can guide me and tell me when it feels like it's in the right spot. Okay. Could be like centered on the calf, I don't know if I Yeah. Right that there. feels good? Yeah, okay, that looks like... That. So cool. Wow, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, I love it. Love the placement. Feels good? Done. I only work with black ink, but I do have two different kinds, and I think mm. one of these is gonna be a better option for you. A lot of times I'll just use a uh, true black, mm. but on warm skin tones and darker skin tones, sometimes this can fade to a green once it heals. Mm. So I have a black here that's mixed with a tiny bit of indigo, and this works against warm tones so that when your tattoo heals, it's going to feel like something that's a truer black. Yeah, that makes sense. I would prefer that one. <laughs> so you can get into position. I okay. want you lying on your stomach with your calf over here. So in terms of like pain level, like what are we expecting here? We're getting kind of close to a crease here. Right. Generally in a place where you have a crease, you are a little bit more sensitive, mm -hmm. but this part of your calf isn't too bony. There's a good amount of muscle and meat on top of it. So right. I think that this is gonna be pretty easy as far as a first time tattoo goes. So the okay. first thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of A and D on your skin. You know, tattooing dry skin could be kind of painful. So this mm. just gives you a little bit of moisture and a little bit of protection. So Kira, I'm gonna do one line so you can get a feel for it, and then when you feel good, we'll keep going. Holy crap, okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, here we go, first line. Oh my lord, okay. <laughs> oh my god. What do you okay. Think? That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah, totally tolerable, right? Like, that's uncomfortable, but it's not, like, a big deal. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just working on the outline now. When we finish that, we'll move on to the details. Mm -hmm. You might not be able to tell from just looking at this outright, but this needle is made from a cluster of really tiny needles. The one I'm using is a size four, and it's called a four because it's made from four tiny needles. Yeah. At the end of the day, your tattoo is still made out of a bunch of tiny dots, mm -hmm. and that looks like lines. You can use a single needle, but you're also more likely to blow out a tattoo if you're using a single needle. So blow out is when you go a little bit too deep on a tattoo. You might notice that there's like a blooming of color beneath your skin. So we're gonna avoid that with you. Okay. <laughs> I use a coil machine. I'm controlling the voltage with this machine over here. Different places of the body call for different speeds. If it's a really thick skinned area, like a palm of a hand or a foot, mm -hmm. you might need to turn the machine down and move a little bit slower and go in a little bit deeper. Otherwise you can risk cutting the skin oh, wow. instead of just pushing ink into it. So we're maybe like halfway down the line work. How are you feeling? It's more uncomfortable than painful. Like it can go on, but <laughs> but I don't like it, if that makes sense. Does it seem to be worse when we get closer to the crack of the back of your knee? Completely, yes. Yeah. yeah it's like, that. that's painful. <laughs> I find oh. that places that have a bend like that, like the yeah. ditch on your arm and the yeah. back of your knee are a lot more sensitive. It's so sensitive. So we're ready to move on to some of the detail work. And the detailing that I do, if you've looked at my work before, you've probably seen, but it's kind of like a stippling. We want everything to feel really light overall, so nothing's going to be solid black, but rather we'll be kind of like building up definition through groupings of dots. Is there a place that people probably shouldn't get a tattoo or? If you're concerned about longevity and how your tattoo will look over time, you mm -hmm. will have to consider the way that our bodies are inevitably going to change. Joints where your skin is folding all the time, armpit, this place that we call the elbow ditch, your tattoo is gonna get a little bit more weathered. Mm -hmm. Any place that's kind of stable and not stretching that much, usually you'll get like a really crispy looking tattoo and it'll stay that way for longer. But a lot of people say this, they're like, 
you know, all your tattoos are going to look terrible when you get older. And my yeah. response is, like, so is the rest of me. So <laughs> who <Right>. cares? <laughs> <laughs> so luckily we're at a stepping point where you can t stand up and take a look at it and let me know what you think. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the fruit, little fruit portions of it. It looks so real. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it's done. Great. Yeah. <laughs> You're tattooed. Okay. okay. You're wow. totally tattooed. Wow. Okay, great. I'm gonna give you one final wipe down and then we're going to put second skin on you, which is basically like saran wrap that sticks directly to your skin and it's gonna stay on there for three days. Okay. The duration of your care routine for your tattoo is going to last two weeks starting today. Sanoderm is totally waterproof, so if you're in the shower, you don't have to worry about water hitting this. It's just gonna roll right off. Okay. Mm. So you might notice a buildup of some fluid beneath the second skin, which is totally normal. Okay. It's gonna look a little boogery, a little brown, <laughs> okay. but it's all good stuff that's helping you heal, so don't worry if you see that. Got but it. you will have to do a pretty thorough washing the first time it comes off because that fluid buildup might be under there. Once this peels off twice a day, you're gonna do two things. Wash your tattoo with an antibacterial soap. Wipe that away, make sure it's dry, and then apply a thin layer of aquaphor on it. Okay. Definitely stay out of the sun for the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. If you find that you're in the sun, the best thing you can do is cover it. Okay. And from here on out, you might want to put a little SPF on it. Cool, you're tattooed. Yeah, it's all, it's all happening. It's all yeah. happening. <laughs> a little sweaty, but. Me too. Oh, thank you so much. You're so welcome. It was really nice meeting you. I'm back. Uh, I got my tattoo about a week ago now, and it looks full, you know, like halfway healed. I told my best friend Maya, and we were both on our way to class, but she made a special video reacting to it. You were supposed to FaceTime me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so mad at you, but I'm also so happy yeah. for you. I can't see it in detail because I'm recording my stupid face right now, but it looked really cool from what I could see, and I like it. Oh my god, congratulations. <laughs> hi, Lore. Put me in your video. <laughs> she was like, hi, Lore. <laughs> I love it. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> my best friend, you guys. An icon. <laughs> On the day of the tattoo, and I was speaking with Rachel about my first experience, she just really validated the fact that that shouldn't have happened to me, and that shouldn't happen to anyone. After the entire experience, I was like, oh, this is exactly what I wanted a tattoo to be, that it's a collaboration. Pain-wise, it was actually like better than I expected. The parts where it hurt a lot, it wasn't something that I couldn't handle. I think my tattoo is hot. <laughs> I think my tattoo is so beautiful. I can't stop looking at it every day. I am purposely wearing shorts and dresses <laughs> so that I can show it off as much as I can. The next part in this journey may involve <laughs> another tattoo.